shit. Yeah. It's tea time in here. So you're building your own bike or is that your mum's job? And not that I'm in any way a qualified mechanic, but I trust myself more than I trust my mother to build my bike. <laughs> this is your third Ironman, I believe? It is. And how have you adjusted from the shorter distance to the longer distance? I can't say I have, like, I don't think I have fully adjusted. Um, I'd say at the moment I, I'm kind of just starting to really nail the short distance. Um, my I've had some pretty good races so far earlier this year. But I mean, I haven't done a long distance since Kona. Imo has always been pretty, pretty sporty, and there there has been a a little competitive streak in there. No, with <laughs> I think having two brothers pretty I much think, says it all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the, the probably the older brother was the one who was out there doing competitions and. It didn't take long before Imo was out there doing competitions too. I think that was me at like about one and a half, one and a half, practicing my dives. Big session. No, it's not possible to separate because uh, I'm always an athlete and he's always a coach. So we try to to have that like relationship when he's my coach and I'm his athlete, but I'm also his girlfriend, <laughs> not his wife. Yeah, it's not about separating things. It's about finding a balance between everything. And he was my he was my coach at first, but only for a few weeks. <laughs> so we really we know this relationship very well and it has improved since I I became professional. Yeah, he tries to be the closest well, the closest he can on the race. But I mean I've been racing by myself sometimes and he was not even on the side, so it, it can work. But he's trying to yeah, to be there for me on the swim course, bike course and run course, but I or I need him on the run course most most of it. So who decides the race strategy? He decides because he knows me very well. And he, he knows better than me what I'm capable of and he knows better than me uh, in what shape I am. There is no there is no boss. There is two people trying to get along and trying to do their best and trying to get out of the others it's best. Okay, my, my name is Luis Alvarez, I'm from Mexico. And uh, this will be, if I finish, my 177 Ironman in beautiful Finland. I have done every single Ironman that has existed ever, and I'm very excited to be in this gorgeous, beautiful vineyard. I'm in here as amateur athlete. My story starts 35 years ago in 1986 when I did my first triathlon, I was over 200 pounds or 94 kilos for whoever used kilos. I was smoking for many years and then I find this beautiful new race called triathlon. I get engaged in love and then in 1991 I, I did my first full distance Ironman. That was one of the most important things in my life that changed my life. And since then I've been chasing to finish all the Ironmans in the world. In Coeur Lane around 2000, I achieved that, and I've been trying to do that since then. My goal right now is to turn 60 next year with my 200 
Iron Man. This year will be my 30th anniversary of doing full distance Iron Man. Never stop missing one year with a full distance Iron Man. My record is three in one week. How do you say like, thanks mate? Kitty. Kitty. Yeah. That's what I need to know. Kitty. Kitty. Kitty.